Hey, welcome to my ACC 1X Benchmark Showdown. I was at my local AT&T store today and they had a demo version of the Snapdragon S4 version of the HTC One X on the left and I have a quad-core Tegra 3 HTC One X on the right. So I decided to do a little benchmark showdown. I'm going to start with Quadrant Standard and see how these two compare. When the AT&T One X was announced, a lot of people were upset that we were not getting the Tegra 3 quad-core chip in the US variant. But I think there's a lot of misunderstanding about the new Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 chip. It is built off the new 28 nanometer process, so it should save battery. And it is also built off the A15 architecture instead of the A9 cores that are on the Tegra 3. And I also think a lot of people are afraid of the Adreno graphics not meeting up to the powerhouse of the Tegra 3 graphics chip. Let's see the results of Quadrant Standard. And it looks like forty nine eighty eight for Tegra three and forty seven ninety four on the S four Snapdragon. Let's run a quick multi thread lin pack test. And if you look here, you can see that the S four Snapdragon is much much faster on lin pack multi thread than the Tegra three. And the last benchmark I'm going to run real quick is Nenemark 2. And we're going to go ahead and put the graphics up side by side on Nenemark 2 over here versus the Adreno graphics versus the Tegra 3 graphics. So let's see what the result would be. Since the Tegra 3 technically has more cores, than the Adreno graphics, the Tegra 3 should really pull away here, but I think this result will be pretty surprising to most viewers. And it's almost done. And wow, 57.9 frames per second for the S4 and 48.2 frames per second for Tegra 3. So after playing with the device for just a little bit, it seems like the S4 is just a little bit snappier overall, but the Tegra 3 version is also very fluid and smooth. This is by no means a definitive test, but if you look that the S4 seems to have a little bit faster animations, but this will have to be determined after really comparing the two devices. Thanks for watching guys and subscribe to my channel for a lot more videos.